Skincare Ninjas, how you doing today on this beautiful but hot, humid, sticky, sweaty, thirsty Thursday? Oh, you said it's so sweet. Thirsty <laughs> Thursday, Ninjas. It's just a thirsty day. Why is it a thirsty Thursday, Busy B? Well, we're thirsty for the joys. Thirsty for <laughs> well, you are. You just, you just, uh, where's the, why are you breathing like that? It's hot outside. <laughs> where's the ninja water, man? That's still in the cooler. <laughs> Ninja water. How's it taste? Looks pretty good, isn't it? Yeah? Does it taste like ninja blood? Yeah. Yeah? So ninjas, you asked for it, it is back. The ninja water, you know, the ninjas have been wanting to know what's in the ninja water for many, many years. But uh, you know, the ancient old secret recipe can't be uh, giving all that away. But uh, anyway, how you been, Busy B? Uh, I've been doing pretty good. Yeah? yeah, I'm hoping this ninja water will uh, get you all boost it up to uh get these yards over here what what, what? Said hopefully <laughs> get these yards over here ninjas we just pulled up at this one this is that little gwanny yard it's actually not a gwanny yard but it is a gwanny itself then we got this one over here on the other side across the street why are we rushing to get everything done today oh it's supposed to get humid later it's supposed to get <laughs> humid ninjas humid that's right what else do i got going on uh, you gotta go drop tiny off i gotta go drop tiny off ninjas they already called me they're like benik, benik. i was like don't give me the benik. They really did say this over the phone. They went, Benik, when are you gonna bring Tiny in? They really did, because they watch yeah. all the videos. They're like, we we love watching the videos because you know we love seeing Busy Bee get swapped, <laughs> swapped across the face with a bunch of other bees. Yeah. You know, let me tell you something about that dealership, Ninjas. That dealership is the fashizzle. Do you know that? Did I tell you that? Yeah, did I actually probably, tell you that? Before. Did I tell what did I tell you? I don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong, Busy Bee? Yeah, it's Thirsty Thursday, man. Are you thirsty? Take another sip. Get some of that ninja blood in ya. We're ready to roll. But I noticed a rattle on the bumblebee as I was mowing. And I haven't looked at it yet or anything. I just parked it right here in the shade, figured I'd grab the camera and we'll do this together. If it's like a grinding noise or something like that, it could be from the motor itself or it could be the pulleys so you always want to double check make sure something's not caught or anything like that but this is not that kind of a rattle so i already know it's got nothing to do with the motor and it's got nothing to do with the pulleys so the longer you use a piece of machinery you'll learn the noises it makes the sounds right busy yeah, look yeah, at you man you'll learn after a while you look 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 wet little wet doggy look at that tired buddy glad this these two are done aren't they oh, yeah. yes so Busy B, if you want to lift this up for me, um, the padding. So Ninjas, the noise rattling that I'm hearing was coming from in here somewhere and it sounded like one of the fans. Definitely kind of like a plastic sound that was catching. So I want to, I want to inspect, make sure there's nothing that's loose. So you always want to check that any kind of cables, anything of that nature. Aha. Uh -huh. See that Bisbee? Yep. Wow. Cause that's what that sound was. It was like this. And even though I have earmuffs and I'm listening to music, I heard that there was a, you know, I could tell there's a difference in sound and it looks like this might have, look at this Bisbee. Right here, you see where my finger's at? Yeah. It looks like it just popped out, didn't it? Yeah. Is there one on the other side? Yeah, it's right here. Can you click it in? Try to, without burning myself. Oh yeah, don't burn yourself, it's hot. There you, go. you got that one? Yeah. And there's one more over here, hold on. And here it is Ninjas, you see that? Aha! Okay. That's more like it. So it just, I must have hit a bump or something, but it popped out. So that's fixed. So there you go. Usually, like I said, you can tell a different type of rattling or if it's a grinding.
Busy B just pointed out that this pulley right here is also dancing a lot more than what he thinks it should, but I want to go ahead and take this cap off and just kind of see. Now, if it doesn't move right now when it's holding still, when it's shut off, the mower shut off, then it's probably good and that pulley is designed as a tensioner to, mm, to yeah. you know, tension that, tighten that belt. Oh yeah. Yeah. And it's hot. Yeah, you can see it actually moves. See that arm down there? Yeah. So that's actually okay. What that pulley does is basically, t you know, tightens that belt. G good eye. I'm glad you caught that. I mean, it's okay. And it's never a bad idea to just uh, take a look at your deck at any point in time. Even though I just did it this last weekend when I was cleaning out the deck and sharpening the blades, it never hurts. Never hurts. Everything else looks good. One thing I like about bumblebees is they don't have any grease fittings. Yeah. No grease fittings. And the Spartans are the same way. Ferris, you have to grease the spindles. Yeah. I haven't had any issues with the Z3X yet. But I also haven't been using it here in a while. Which I'm getting ready to. But Alright, put that back. So that's good. We found the problem. What made that noise? And we're done. Let's get out of here. It's freaking hot. Blue is... Remember that song? house with the blue little window and a blue corvette and everything is blue to him and himself and everybody around because he ain't got nobody <laughs> to listen i just got a cool phone call how cool was it i'd say it's pretty cool i mean it's, it's about as cool as this ac right now yeah <laughs> <laughs> so uh what was the phone call uh, somebody, somebody looking look, for a job if somebody looking for a job they just somebody i know yeah. Somebody I know is looking for a job. Who could it be? Who could it be? So we're going to meet this weekend, give him the application, uh, catch up a little bit. Somebody that I know, could it be somebody the ninjas know? That's a good question. Hmm. Do we have a name for him? Mm, let me tell. <laughs> what's, what's the name? Acorn. Acorn! So we got Acorn. <laughs> <laughs> so we got Busy B. And Acorn. Yeah. I love it, man. I love it. So stay tuned for Acorn. I'll keep you posted how that goes. Uh, like I said, we're supposed to meet this weekend. And then um, maybe maybe start out next week sometime. We'll see. See how Acorn does. But he's, uh, he's a big fan, big supporter, watches all the videos. And uh, I know him. So that, that's a bonus. You ready? Yeah, all right, let's go. So this is a 2020 XLT F150. This is the FX4 off-road package. And it is the All-American 4. Now, you ninjas who've been following me for a while know that I am all about my Fords. I love Ford trucks. I love All-American made. I just am a huge Ford fan. So anyway, my truck is in the shop and it is getting worked on it's got a little oil leak they also caught that the rear differential has got a little bit of a leak as well i do i put a beating on that truck so i'm glad they caught that everything is under warranty and everything is going to be taken care of so they gave me see i love my dealership ninjas i love my dealership they take care of me i always say when you are buying a new vehicle please make sure you are comfortable with your dealer. Your dealer has got your back. It is very important. Kind of like when you're buying lawnmowers, 
you want to make sure that you got the right dealer so they know what i do they watch my videos they're very supportive i am absolutely good good friends with just about everybody there from manager general manager the front guys at the front desk reps i mean it's just absolutely amazing and so they know anytime i have to drop off my truck they will make sure they have a loaner for me uh they also know that i need for whatever is available of course but i absolutely need the bigger engine compared to some of the other options just because of what i'm pulling the big trailer and all those mowers and all that weight so this is the 5.0 liter v8 okay so first off it's got daytime running lights right there definitely has some real nice slick fog lamps down at the bottom it is a fully boxed steel frame which is on all ford pickup trucks it has the manual mirrors that fold which is what tiny does as well also has locking removable tailgate now i got a lot of my stuff in here that i have taken out just because i may need it i'm not really sure how long they'll keep tiny hopefully just for a day or two but it could be over the weekend so i wanted to at least bring those never know when you need them this truck comes with a sway control trailer sway control and it's also got the rear privacy glass that's already tinted from the factory as i mentioned earlier ninjas this is the xlt chrome package it's got some nice 18 inch chrome wheels it's got chrome step bars it's the 5.0 liter v8 it's got the 3.55 electronic lock rear axle so a lot of you who might be wondering i know i always do what is the fx4 off-road package consist of well there's a couple of things that come with it and one of them is the skid plates floor liner tray style tailgate step and it's got a 36 gallon extended range fuel tank of course it comes with the xlt power equipment group package which is power sliding rear window that's going to be nice we'll check that out here in a minute led box lighting that's really nice when you need to turn on the light to see maybe in the bed of your truck and reverse sensing system that is something that i absolutely enjoy and next pickup truck i purchase i will be going at least with the xlt uh, as much as uh, how much we unhook and hook the trailers that really comes handy also ninjas this is the auto start stop motor it's got curve control dynamic hitch assist electronic four-wheel drive shift on the fly and it's also got the fail safe cooling system comes with the ford pass connect 4g wi-fi so this truck definitely has a wi-fi hotspot. gas charge shocks really really comfortable it's got the outboard rear shocks pre-collision assistant rear view camera as i mentioned earlier remote start ninjas this truck has got a five star rating overall for safety i mean i am a huge ford fan you ninjas already know that by now and this is the f-150 of course but i just i think ford pickup trucks and i'm only speaking for pickup trucks because i'm not a huge fan of ford vehicles like ford cars and things like that i think they're slick looking but i've never just had any interest in ford suvs or ford cars but ford trucks have been absolutely one of the best pickups on the market in my opinion and that is all i've ever ran honestly in my business and it's always always taking care of me and you know when you use a truck when you put it through a beating you know after a couple of years things are going to happen you're going to have maintenance stuff come up that's why it's so important to always have that extended warranty especially when you're buying a truck that is a lot of money now one cool thing then is i definitely will make sure my next truck has this is uh i think ford only has this is this step bar that is super super handy when you are trying to get in the bed of your truck if you need some tools you need to grab and it's maybe all the way up at the top you basically just grab the handle right here step on it boom now that is awesome i do wish tiny had that and i think it is an option you can install it but uh, or you know buy it separately but i'm not really worried about it right now 
but I definitely will make sure my next truck has that. And to close it, you just press this button. Press that button down there. Push that in. You lift this up. There you go. Voila. Now this is a crew cab four door, of course. And I have a battery that comes out. And I definitely took some of the stuff out of Tiny that I needed, like the trash box, of course, right? That's super important. And all you do is you pull on this right here. There it is. It also has a keypad right here that you can set your own lock numbers. And if you don't have your key on you, you just key it in and it'll open the door for you. Here's the interior. But before we get to that and all the bells and whistles, let's go ahead and check that motor. This is the 5.0 V8 and it is absolutely a beast of a motor plenty of power there it is right there i always loved the 5.0s always loved them plenty of power i loved the 5.0s back in the day when i was a younger boy and uh, i remember the mustangs i'm sure they still probably put them in the mustangs but um, it's a very powerful motor plenty of horsepower plenty of torque it's just a beast. So this is the interior right here. You've got a little compartment right here where it can close and you can open it. And this is where you, where you got your USB cables. And uh, here's your uh, cup holders, extra little storage. I think this comes out. Yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty cool. You've got some USB chargers down there. I definitely put my water bottle and a couple other things in there. You get the F-150 or the F-250, you're basically going to go ahead and get the same ordeal, except the F-250 is, of course, beefier. Uh, one thing I noticed in 2020 is they put a nice little touch screen right here, so that is pretty cool. Tells you the hood is open. Now, this button right here is for the rear glass slide. I think that is pretty nifty. Look at that. very very nice also right here you have a regular outlet just like you would in your own house and then you got two usb chargers this truck is equipped with the sirius xm radio package and as you can see it's only got 1175 miles so practically a brand new truck uh everything is power one of the things on the xlts compares to the xl which is what tiny is everything is power like the seats on Tiny, it's uh, manual, but here you can just adjust it by push of a button. The back as well, front. And the same thing on the passenger side. Cool thing is if you put it in reverse, that is very, very nice when you are hooking to your trailer or unhooking or just parking in general and uh it just shows your trailer so there you have it a quick little overview so far i love this truck i mean i love all fords just in general you ninjas know that and i love my dealership i i love my dealership i can't say it enough that dealership just is absolutely top notch top of the line and they always always take care of me i will show you what this truck costs out the door as far as at least the sticker price now when you are buying a truck like this you can always negotiate your price and I'm sure there's always some kind of rebates and discounts that come with it. The transmission and the engine is built in-house. They do not build these things outside of the US. Definitely when it comes to the engine and the transmission. I'm not saying that everything on this truck is American made. I don't think no truck out there of any brand, everything is made in America. But the biggest things i always say in any vehicle is the transmission and the engine that is like the heart of the vehicle right and that is made in house i just love that i love to support what is made in this country they're saying average is 18 so 15 in the city and 21 on the highway about 5.6 gallons per 100 miles and your annual fuel cost is roughly going to be around 2250. so with all the bells and whistles that I had just touched on and all the things that come included in this truck your base price is 43,515 I don't know if that can zoom in and then of course your total options that's probably part of the XLT package is 10,355 zoom in clear up 
So your total vehicle is 53,870, and then of course the destination and delivery is 1695, which brings you to 55,565. You got the XLT Luxury Chrome or S Sport discount, which is 1750. Lariat discount navigation is 500. Power equipment discount is 250. And then your total savings are 2500 which brings the total out the door to 50 MSRP $53,065. Just because you see this, this is just the MSRP. That does not mean you have to pay that. You can always negotiate with them and uh, save yourself some money. Hope you enjoyed a little bit of today's video. Basically, this is the highlight of the video. Stay tuned, new employee. Hey, well, how funny is that, right? New employee, new employee, and a new truck. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.